Ladies and gentlemen, I have something very special for you today. Something that you've never seen before. This is the brand new Chinese Pokemon set, Nine Colors. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't this Evolving Skies? Kind of. Huh? I can confirm there are Evolving Skies alternate arts in this set, but there's also some other cards that we might see today. Today we're going to test our luck, see what this set is all about, and see if we can pull the Moonbreon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get into it. Um, right off the bat, obviously, the focus is uh, Umbreon right there because, you know, this set does have a Moonbreon. Um, the box, I can't, obviously, I can't read. Well, is that obvious? Let me just tell you, I can't read this. But I do, there is some information that I can read. Uh, this set is only for China. It is manufactured in Japan. What I'm most curious about is this part right here. I don't know what this is, but I do know these are rarities of cards. So maybe these are guaranteed cards, so which means we could get four ultra rares and 16 hyper rares. I guess we'll find out. Let's freaking open this box up. So this is a, uh, they call this the nine colors jumbo booster box. And I don't know why. Awesome. Cool. Really, really good start to the video, guys. And here we go. Let's uh, take a look at these. Oh, there's only six packs in here. There's only six packs in here, but these are freaking gigantic. What the? These are fat. This is almost three times the size of a normal uh, booster pack. Okay. I, I think I... <laughs> I think I get it now. That's what they meant by jumbo. The pack art looks good. It's the same thing as the, the box. You got all the evolutions. There's Eevee. But let's get into pack number one and test our luck. Huh? That's gross. <clears throat> I think, I think this set is pretty new, but I think the Moonbreon in this set is about like three or $400. So not like $1,000 like the US one. Uh, like the English one, but um, it's still pretty pricey. So let's just go through it. Um, this is obviously in Chinese. This is a, the brand new set. Brand new. And I think it, you're thinking like, oh, we're in Scarlet and Violet. Fun fact, Chinese Pokemon is still in Sword and Shield. Even though we have the, the silver borders now, these are Sword and Shield cards. So you're going to see Vs, I think, and Vmaxes, and obviously alternate arts. They don't have, uh, they don't have the special illustration rares or art rares. So we got our first hollow. I don't really know what's going on. We just got like a bunch of commons. Uh, so that's a rare. And there is our first hit. What's behind it? Oh, oh, okay. We got a little double whammy. I think that's Ryan. And we got Vaporeon V. Very nice. So yeah, no, no alternate art there. Only six packs. So this is going to be kind of weird. And I mean, they're all in the back. I'm, I think the hits are all in the back because the first like 20 cards, just like commons and uncommons. So I guess we'll go through the first couple really quickly and then see what's in the, what's in the back. Damn it. I don't know how to open a pack. All right, here we go. Next pack. There's only six. So we're already a third of the way done with this one right here. This is pack number two. Yep. Yep. I've definitely seen some of these before. It's been a long time. It's a little nostalgic. Gordy, we got some beer pong cups. A little play, a little beer pong. Uh, Pincer, I remember that card. I don't know why, but I remember that one. Okay, a hollow, and then there might be something behind here. Let's see. Another hollow. Okay. Uh, can I have an alternate art, please? Oh, uh, Umbreon, but not the Moonbreon. All right, what's behind this? A reverse and a reverse. Okay. Um, that one uh, was not as good, obviously. Yikes. Did I mention that this uh, box was like 70 bucks? I don't know if I overpaid for it, but that's what I, that's what I paid for it. So it's... Okay, that was much easier. We're just going to do that. Oh, English backs, by the way. Manufactured in Japan with English backs and uh, Chinese words all right so we know this is like nothing so i'm just gonna say that so far this has sucked but i'm not giving up yet because uh, the hits are back here and if we just get one moonbreon 
we're good. So here we go. Okay, hollow, and then another hollow, a Butterfree into a V, a Glaceon. Okay, please, something. It reverse and another reverse. What the? F what? 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 Maybe. Okay, so maybe those that little rarity chart I saw was not what you're guaranteed. I guess so. Um. I guess that's a little disappointing, but it doesn't mean we're done. We got three more packs. Yes, sir. Three more packs. Here we go. This doesn't matter. Um, you know what? It is kind of cool to be opening. I'll just call this evolving skies for, you know, everyone that's opening English Pokemon cards. I do see some cards that are not in evolving skies. So there's definitely some other stuff in here. Um, but you know, it's not, it's, it's nostalgic. Actually, it's kind of like PTSD because I've had some bad openings with Evolving Skies and bang, look at that. We got like one of each evolution so far. So we got a vape or we got a flurry on now. What's in the back? Oh, you tease, you freaking tease. Uh, okay, we got a VMAX. That's our first VMAX. I've seen this a million times. I am not impressed. There you go. The colors are really dope on this card, though. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I, I honestly, I don't know how I feel right now. I feel not good. I, I better get like something, an alternate art of something. Um, yeah, I don't know. This kind of sucks so far. Uh, yeah, I definitely see some cards from like other sword and shield sets. I'm pretty sure. Like, isn't this from Lost Origins? And that little whole trail thing is from Lost Origins? I could be wrong, but I don't know. Like, I recognize a lot of these cards from different sets. Alright, here we go. Now we're into the hits. We got a holo. And we got another holo. And uh, let's see if there's an alternate art or a V in here. Here we go. A V. And, uh... Okay, so... Oh my sh... We are already on the last pack. This is it. After this, the, sh the show's over. Okay, they need to they need to figure this out. This is a terrible way to open the cards. Terrible. Come on. All right. You know these are all like whatever. I can't unless I know like Slackoth, Gligar, a nope. pumpkin. I forget Glack. I forget what that is called. And a troll, a snake, um, a bug, maybe a golem, dude. Oh shoot, crap. Okay, well, yeah, we got an Espeon. Okay, so if there's not anything behind this, I'm gonna flip my. Sh Here we go. Oh God! Wait, wait! Oh, you mother! You son of a bitch. We got a triple whammy, but our secret rare was a full art. Oh my god. I am... This looks different. This doesn't look right. It. Are you guys... Do you guys see this glare? This doesn't... This looks weird. This does not look right. I don't remember it looking like this. But I haven't opened Sword and Shield in like a year. I don't know. I do like the background. I can't believe that we just pulled like a bunch of V's and then our guarantee. Maybe it, maybe it's guaranteed. I think it is. Um, but it was a full art, so that's like the biggest tease. We probably just made like ten dollars off of this uh, eighty dollar box. Not that that's what matters. I was genuinely interested in this new Evolving Skies set. Um, it did not go the way I thought it was gonna go, but that's all right. Now you guys know, um, but yeah, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.